All right, guys, I wanted to walk you through both Matt and I, like when, when we receive a client, an inquiry from a client, and when a client contacts us, I basically want to do a video series of, of what that looks like for us, what we're looking for, um, how we build out a plan, what variables we look at, and then, you know, basically from that point, it's all based off of individual feedback once the plan's set. So we want to kind of lay this out for you in terms of when you email us, when you're looking to us for coaching, what's our mindset, what's going through our heads. Um, and to start this video, one of the main things that I wanna start this video off is the initial contact that you guys make, whether you're contacting Matt, whether you're contacting myself, whether you're contacting somebody else, if you guys can take anything from this first video, it's gonna be the level of seriousness that you make that initial contact with in terms of the information that you provide is gonna stand out so much to that individual coach. Okay, so what I mean by that is, don't say, hey, bro, what do you charge? Or, hey, what are your rates? Like, give quantifiable information that we can then take and then present information back to you with. So what I would do is if, if you've been bodybuilding for a while or if you've not, when you're contacting us, I would lay out what your diet is. If you're not on a set diet, lay out what you ate the previous day. Um, also lay out basically how long you've been training, what your approach to training is. And then lastly, I would lay out um, current progress pictures, okay? And if you don't know what progress pictures look like, basically just take a front shot and a back shot and then go from there in terms of, you know, anything that, this is the other thing that I say whenever, I'm, when somebody reaches out to me and they don't give me any information, I say, please tell me anything that you think is extremely important that I need to know in order to better help you. All right, so that's kind of the initial pro process. When I receive that email, what I'm really looking for in that initial email you know, correspondence, once I get that information is, what are the major holes, what are the major gaps that we have that I can help you with? Because whenever somebody comes to me, I, I really wanna make sure before I commit to that person that I can actually do something to help them. And there's times where people email me a plan that's so sound, and I'm like, hey, like if you wanna build a relationship with me that's you know, a, a new coaching direction or a new coaching relationship, I'm gonna be transparent from the beginning and say, there's not much that you're doing wrong. So basically the biggest things that we can do right now is just tweak based off of your feedback and then just grow in terms of our communication to then have a better end result. So in terms of your process, what do you think is most important from the start? Uh, all the things you mentioned, plus, I mean, tell us, I mean, what is your goal? Like, what are you ultimately trying to do? Um, so that way, when we look over what you're doing, I mean, the more information that you give us, the better we can help you. So just to add to that, but you know, ultimately kind of, um, and just to add to, you know, when I do get someone that their plan actually overall looks pretty good, I think it, you know, I just get real with them and, and say, maybe if the physique isn't matching what they're saying they're doing, maybe they're not really following it. Right. You know? Right. And, and I think that's, that's the biggest failure within, within, you know, not even, not only competitors, but anyone trying to change their physique, it's, you know, how consistent are they and how, you know, what's their adherence like? Sure. So I think you got to have a real conversation with people to, because a lot of people just lie to themselves and right. they follow it 50%, but they tell you that's what they're doing a hundred percent. Right. So I think you got to have that conversation with people and, and just be honest with us because we're not here to, to scold you or, or look, you know, look at you like you're less of a, of a human being because you have trouble following a plan. I mean, we, we get that, you know, I think a lot of coaches, it's their way or the highway and you know they're stuck in this hardcore mindset that you can't you know that you can't ever go off your plan or whatever but we realize that happens so we try to you know make a plan that that is actually feasible for you to follow yeah i mean that that is a great point that he just made when it comes to ultimately coaching success with a coach to client relationship comes down to communication and transparency so don't ever try to like impress us, you know, because impressing somebody with something that's not actually what's going on, it's just going to create a longer period of time for us to really analyze and figure out what's going on. So if you're off your plan, just tell us you're off your plan. Um, you know, if you need a lot of coaching, honestly, guys, I sit in the, in the passenger seat and I just help navigate the ship. Um, I'm there to be stern when I need to be stern. I'm there to provide confidence when I need to, you know, when, when I feel like you guys need confidence. Um, but ultimately like, you guys are driving this ship and we're there in, in a supporting role. So the more you communicate, the more you let us know what's going on, the better ultimately this is going to be for you. So what we're going to do in this series is kind of break down one variable at a time 
in terms of, again, when I receive an email and the information's there, what am I looking for? What questions am I asking myself to then ask you guys in terms of what can I really do to help you? So stay tuned. We're going to bring variable number one to the table in the next video.